Oh yeah. What? <coughs> Did it play the sound through that or something? Yeah, for a for a real hot second. <coughs> I'm gonna show you my tits. Why do you keep singing that song around me? I'm gonna show you my tits. Please don't. Welcome back to Cutscene <clears throat> Chaps, where we just watch it a movie. This is just like riff tracks at this point. Riff tracks. Being a dick. Oh, fuck. Thank you. For Thank what? you. For what? How bad is it? Oh fuck. Smile on your brother. Everybody right now. Why do you keep doing this bullshit? You know I don't like it. Touch. <laughs> Why? Do She's you a hologram keep anyway. She's a fucking hologram anyway. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Why just holograms? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Can what you? if she just started doing that to you? You feel like you wouldn't like that. <laughs> Why'd you explode? <laughs> the other guy just. Like, deteriorated. Why did you explode? <laughs> it's different and weird. Alright. Why? I just want to see my butt. You just want to see my butt, dude. <laughs> Well, guess what? First, you gotta pee. Okay, yep, skip it. You just want to see my fucking butt. Yep, skip. I don't care about it. I think he talks to you in the shower this time. I think. <sighs> I, I think. I could be wrong. I don't remember. <clears throat> It annoys me that he takes a shower and yet he's still like all covered in like dirt and lime. dirt and, yeah. and, and like. It's because he just stands there and let the water hit him. He doesn't even like scrub. <clears throat> yeah. Is that just my pee? Oh, it's your shower water. Yeah. Everyone's Sam, talking about hope. I have no interest hope. in America. <laughs> I want to recover the past. Oh, it's almost time. I've made the connections and nothing happens. Then what? I said, then what? He's gone. He died. He got whispered to death. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. 
Everyone's no bothering me. <laughs> They don't. <laughs> as far as I know, they don't. Thanks for delivering that medicine. My mom still died, though. They'll say stuff like, Oh, I saw a glimmering light over here. And that's just one of the collectibles. So, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, cool. Uh-huh. Alright, I took a <clears> shower. <throat> I don't have to do any of that bullshit. So I have to just activate go. my terminal. Just fucking go. I have to activate my terminal. I don't think bro. you have to. No, that's for the mail. You don't have to. Oh, okay. Just fucking leave. Down all your monster. Skip the first one. Drink another one. Let's see if the second animation is different. Oh. Sometimes it's supposed to be different every time you do it. Nope. Maybe the last one. The last one's the best one, and he's not doing it. He's being a fucking turd about it. Yeah, I never mind. Fucking skip it again. <laughs> All right. Three monsters in a row. That would fucking kill you. All right. Do I actually have to take that thingy? No. What? Cause it like it was made over there, the bath water. No. Okay. No, it gets put in your private locker. Just leave. <clears throat> Just wasting time here. <clears throat> so much goddamn waiting. These cutscenes too happen pretty pretty often, <laughs> and after a point, you run out of them. Um, oh, so fuck. if you ever hit one that you've already seen, oh, you fuck. can skip it. Hi. Hello. Santa, is that you? Yeah, whatever you said. The printer's offline? I don't know. So you gotta go re recover the chiral printer interface. that other one collection chiral crystals oh okay they want you to go get chiral crystals the little things that you weren't able to get yet <laughs> thank you watchtower you can build watchtowers now why I'll recon your fucking mouth with my fist what <clears throat> put those resins away you don't need them Resin. Mm, do I really need three PCCs? No. 
So I'd say put away two of those in the resins. Yeah. And yeah. Nope. Keep doing that. <clears throat> hater, I'm a hater. Yeah, now you can collect the crystal things that you've been seeing. <sighs> oh! Do you need to? Yes, we've seen them. <laughs> they look like hands, cool. I do. Get at least one centigram. Bitch, so <clears throat> they want you to go get Cairo crystals and then bring them back to this distribution center. You don't have to like every single one if you don't want to. You're just being nice. Yeah. Nothing but holograms here. I thought that would have been an interesting twist is like the one of the places you go to like you think it's full of people but it's actually just an autonomous like you know poop thing <laughs> like it's just nothing but holograms if you go to the right I think there was more no the other right over there yeah there's some you don't even have to go to the area to get them there's some right there Square and you pick them up. Sweet. Now you can go back and deliver them if you want. <laughs> That's all you have to do for that quest. <clears throat> so when you get back, you do um, you hit recycle, and then you recycle at least one of those, or maybe just recycle all of them. Who knows? I don't know. Basically, whenever you recycle materials at a place, it'll put that amount of materials into the pool at that location. So, like, in the bottom right, you see it's usable materials. You've got 560 resins and then 1,060 metals. So, if you were to go pick up more, <clears throat> you don't have that one, so you can't do that one yet. So, go down to recycle, and then you can recycle Cairo crystals because that... They have a cap of 300, but you don't have any in there yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if you so put them in there, and then hold X, that quest should be done. You can skip that. <laughs> it's just another one of those, like, and skip this one, too. No, whatever. <sighs> See all these little stupid cutscenes that happen? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, do we need do we time. do we need a cutscene that shows him putting the crystals in? Nope. Nope. Why did I get a B? Maybe because you only got forty three. Sure. Yes, we know. Yes, we get new shit. <laughs> See, that's that's where it helps to just have somebody to. <laughs> tell you, you this is what happens when you do these things <laughs> so you leveled up you can carry more cargo now because your level went up hooray skip this <laughs> all these these little fucking cutscenes god damn it got container repair spray it does exactly what you think it would do so yeah the way the game works is that <clears throat> I don't think you can repair these because there's no container yeah but any, like, cargo that has a container, um, like something that you're delivering, like in lost cargo or whatever, um, you can repair the container by using the spray. Nice. <clears throat> but you can't repair the damage already done to it. Alright, goodbye. Merry Christmas. Oh, fuck. Shut up! God damn it! <laughs> Waiting for Dead Man 2. It's fucking everyone. <laughs> Sam, I'm about to order a pizza. Would you like some? No! <laughs> Hello?
holy shit, man. They will, or, they just will not let you, like, fuck, do what you want to do here. Good lord. <laughs> they just keep talking to you. Alright, so you gotta go and get the chiral printer thingy. Which is, uh, nope. In that circle. Nope. Down that one. Oh, that, this circle. Not, not that circle. What the fuck is That's there? telling you where the mules are at. That's their territory. Ah, uh, okay. The human enemy people. So it was down here somewhere. Yeah, so you have to go into that area. And I think there's more mules in that area. Yeah. Haters. So I'm gonna go over the mountain. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so I just gonna go straight through. Oh yeah, another another useful thing in the in the map is if you go go back in the map real quick for one second. If you put a finger on the touchpad and then you twist the controller around, it'll like orient the map in a different way, you can kind of see the topography a little bit, which is kind of cool. It's like a 3D map, so if you zoom out, you can see it better. Yeah, that's like, cool. That actually helps with, like, planning routes sometimes. What is this? What are you looking at, Beep? Why is death? What are you looking at? What is death? Hmm. <coughs> is that Miss Chickmarcus? Oh my god, shut up. It's interesting seeing like having you play it at this point because when I first played it <clears throat> this game I I had gotten it like the day of of mm -hmm. release. So a lot of these footprints and things weren't there. Makes sense. There's there's uh, some crystals there you just passed. Left, 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 right there. Right there. I wish there was a better way to collect them in this game because, like, one thing that I wish that you could do is, like, if you're on a truck, if you ran them over, like, you could collect them, but you can't do that, unfortunately. It's kind of the annoying thing. Like, you always have to get out and pick them up. You can't, like, you know... There should be, like, a harvester truck that you can manufacture or something that lets you run them over and just collect them. Yeah. But nope. Remember saying, two in the pink, one in the stink. Yes. You might be okay because you don't have any uh, cargo. Yeah. It's only if you have like cargo, like precious cargo. Sometimes, well, like if you had those metals on you, then you you would have gotten pinged. But since you just have like equipment, you're fine. So many fucking nerds are using this goddamn path. It's funny I'm you haven't even, you haven't even had to use a ladder yet because that is something that I ran into as well. Like I would come out with like equipment all the time, but I would never get need to use it because somebody else already put stuff there. Yeah, ain't nothing about a thing. But yeah, if you want to play the game, if you want to make the game harder, like significant, like I wouldn't even say significantly harder, but if you just want to take, if you want to take longer to like build roads and stuff, just play it offline. Because that's kind of the cool thing too, is people can contribute materials to the roads also. Like there was one time where I had built like <clears throat> a bunch of the roads, and then some of the other ones that I was trying to build, like people had contributed materials to. I think there's a guy over there. You can use your strand on him. He's sitting there. If you sneak up on him, you can tie him up. Oh, there he is. Okay. You know what we should do for Christmas? What? I have 
fruit salad and the cinnamon buns. Yummy, yummy. Like fruit salad, just mixed fruits. Yummy, yeah. yummy. Strawberries and blueberries and grapes and fucking pineapple. Okay. Do you want to go? We got to make some. Honey, do you know what? We have to make some. Maybe we can go get some of that on Christmas Eve. So L2. L2, hold L2. Like aim and then fight, yeah. You just got incapacitated, bitch. So now if you go into the post box, And get the thing you need the chiral printer interface which is that nice they have a bunch of other stuff that you probably can't well we can make soft pretzels okay well we have to go to the store and get some stuff then what time do you work till on, tu on tuesday mm, one o'clock okay were you going to come over right after work maybe oh you're reaching your limit here so that's all the stuff in the post box. I, do, I really wouldn't take anything else. You know, just, the metals would be nice, but you don't need them this early in the game, really. So that's a medium pack. You know. It's already damaged. Oh. The container's damaged, but. It, Where does this go? That's uh, anywhere. That goes to distribution center. That's so that's going back to where you were just at. Oh, okay. And the Which lower I gotta right, go yeah. Back. In the lower right, it says the destination distribution center. So you're going, yeah. You can take that back if you want. <clears throat> this might be a little bit trickier to get around though, because it's heavy. Get a heavy load. Go into the, go into the tent real quick. I just want you to see. There's one thing in there that you can get. It's not showing up, but it is in there, somewhere. For some reason, certain collectibles and things don't show up when you scan them right away. You have to like be like the right distance away, but like there should be a little flashy thing in here that you can pick up. God, this fucking tutorial font needs to get the fuck out of here. There should be one in here somewhere. It's like sitting on one of those things in the center, I think. Yeah, like it's not showing up for some reason. should be in here. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it isn't in here. You should be able to just like walk up and hold square and pick it up. But I don't know where it is. It should be in here somewhere. I can't think of where it is. I don't know. Whatever. It, they're like little memory chip things, mm -hmm. and they just have like things from the past. That's really all they are. Okay. And it's like, watch, you'll walk 20 feet away from it, and then the symbol will pop up, I bet. <laughs> if you scan in the tent. Because sometimes I'll do that. Like, you, you'll, it should have scanned it, but it won't pop up until like you're further, further away from it. It's really stupid. I don't know. I don't know why the game does that. Whatever. It's not a big deal. If you ever wanted to get it, you can just come back and get it. <clears throat> oh, there it is. It's up in there. You see that blue thing? That's the memory chip right there. That's a memory chip. I thought there was one in the tent, but maybe there's another tent somewhere that has one. So if you want it, you can get it. You don't have to, though. I don't think you get anything for it other than a little like data entry thingy that you can read or whatever mm. but if you see it you might as well get it so yeah you just walk up there and hold square and you pick it up so that's like the collectible of the game there's a whole butt fuck ton of them all over the place and some of them are in, there's some of them are in like really <laughs> random positions across the map like very very arbitrary positions. Yeah. So they're kind of annoying to find because they don't always appear on your scanner either, which is weird. Yeah. 
Yeah, so so far, <clears throat> maybe I just haven't been paying attention, but I don't think I've seen any birds or anything. I haven't. Not that I have noticed, anyway. Who did? Ah, oh, yes. Who texted me? Oh, Melissa can, Mills can, texted me. Can I, can I grab it? No, I'm just going to have to walk it. All right. But yeah. No. No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not. I'm not a butt peer. Isn't that what she wanted for Christmas? No, it's not what she wanted for Christmas. She just thought it would be a fun idea. Did you pee in her butt? No, you're asking me or him. Do you think? Do you think she's experimented with that on her own before? I doubt it. I doubt that she's peed in her own. No, I mean. What's wrong with you? No, I mean like. Like she got like what a turkey. What is actually wrong with Like a turkey baster or something. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I don't believe so. <laughs> just joking. Just a yoke. It's just a fucking just joke. A joke. I think I peed in my own butt. I Did you get it in a Christmas card? Yeah, what'd you get her for Christmas, Billy? Mm, I got her these uh, magnetic charger Ooh. thingies. Cool. So she, because she has a problem with her wrists. Oh. Spooky. Just hold X and I'll do it. There you go. And then I also got her uh, an, X, an extra large cup holder thingy for coffee. Sweet. Car. She like coffee? She does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melissa got me a thermos for soup. Scoop. Yeah. That was not soup. Yeah, but I'm saying you got me it though. I got you because I'm a nice person. Yeah, you get me a lot of things. Yeah, but I'm not doing that anymore. Why not? Because you're a piece of shit. Why? <laughs> what did I do? Gave away my advent calendar. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, you're not. We could have we could have looked for it at Joe's house and taken and it back. Taken it back. <laughs> oh fuck. That would be so funny. Fuck. You. What if they hadn't even opened no! it yet? No, not you again. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm so sick of you. I hate your hair. I hate your face. Go away. Shut up. Oh wow, Billy. What? That was your, that was your one. <laughs> I don't even smell it. You can construct a bridge now too. You should do that because that's actually pretty neat. So I think you need a PCC. This part was kind of confusing the first time I did it, so I'll, I'll walk you through it. It's actually, it's not that hard to do the first time. Or like, at least, <clears throat> trying to figure it, figure it out is not as hard as it actually is, but I'll tell you how to do it. You already have a couple in your yeah. um, thing, so if you, so that number three next to what you have, I think, is how many, how many you already have. Oh, my God. So carry all the good shit on the back, whatever. Is that something you need for these deliveries? I doubt it. I would put... Oh, they're giving you medals. Okay, hold on to the medals. I would say... Um, you need one PCC. Take put, the, put the medals 100 away. You don't need that. So no, get rid of... <clears throat> uh, deselect one of them anyway, the PCC. Put the medals away. 
Yeah, you don't need. I think you only need 400 for the bridge, and then get one of the PCCs and and take that. Unless you already have one. Have Do you have one? No, like on your character oh, already. Right. Yeah, you already got yeah, one. Got so one. go ahead and just confirm. Get out of there. So hit or hold X rather. So what you're gonna do, so the way that the the some of these structures work, like the bridge, um, is you have to you create the foundation first, and then you have to deposit materials into it in order to complete the structure. So that would that means you have to physically take materials in the containers that you have on your back and take them to the place that you're going to to or like the structure that you're building. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and that's how the the roads work too. So you literally will have to go and find containers of metals or whatever, and then physically take them to the build site. So if you go to the left, they have a designated build area to the left. Yep, over there for the bridge. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over there and use the PCC to construct the foundation for the bridge. Or it looks like they've already done that anyway. But if you were to build, if you want to build a bridge, because you can build a bridge pretty much anywhere. Um, and I think they, they are either a 50 meter version or an 80 meter version. So it depends on, um, like, you know, the chasm or whatever that you're building it across, like how big it's going to be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah. So it's got 400 metals in it. It needs 800 in order to be finished. So if you go up to this terminal and you hold the options button or the start button, hold the start button. There you go. And you can complete the structure by depositing the two metals on your back. Or the 400 metals that you have on your back. So then if you hold X, there you go. So that's how that works. Benjamin Hancock. So if you were to take your own PC, if you, PCC and you wanted to build a different bridge somewhere else, you would first construct the foundation with the PCC, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to take materials to it to finish it. Okay. So now you have a bridge going over the the river, which is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> pretty nifty, right? And you can you can upgrade structures too, but there's really not as much incentive to do that in my opinion. So if you wanted to make that bridge level two, you'd need like another thousand or does it give it guard rings? <clears throat> no, I think it increases it increases its durability. And it'll sh it'll tell you what it gets if you upgrade it. If you go back on the terminal, there's another terminal at the other end. If you go to the other end, but either way, if you go here and you do the structure menu, it'll tell you what you get. Uh, customization slot and time frame resistance boosted by fifty percent. So the durability will go down a lot slower. Okay. <clears throat> and then if you want to repair a structure, it, it costs just the chiral crystals. But chiral crystals are kind of like a it's hard to get a lot of them so you typically like i don't know i try to not spend as much on repairing shit until you absolutely have to yeah all right so i need to go in farm alligator farm the alligator wind farm make wind out of alligators PP. Do you have to PP? I don't know yet. I do. You have pee on it, dude. I'm peeing. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you can't see his wiener. Like if you try to pan the camera around, he just keeps turning. You want here? Yeah, why not? Much bigger. That's all right. Well, people need to keep contributing their piss to it, and then it'll get bigger. Really, just sharing the wealth. Good for you, man.
Who's Benjamin Hancock? He's the man that was uh, at the distribution center that you were just at. Fuck that guy. He's the guy with the Santa hat. They all have Santa hats. <laughs> <laughs> station is not close because it's in the other opposite direction anyway. Yeah. Precaution for a time. There's really not as much of an incentive to like get out of the time fall because more often than not you can't wait it out really. Like it would be nice if that were more of an option. Sometimes you can but generally speaking not really. And if you do, if you want to wait it out, you'd have to wait a while. Uh, why does it say the terrain scanner? Like, we already know. And those things right there, if you get that, that's like the only, like, flora in the game really is the... It's called sandalweed or something like that. If, like, your boots are wore out, you can put those on your feet. Um, temporarily. Just to kind of like get you by, because if you're <clears throat> if you're not wearing boots or your boots wear through too much, like you'll have bloody feet like you did before, and mm -hmm. you'll start to lose blood. So basically, your health will deplete. Nice. So I've li that's literally never happened to me in the entire game. So <laughs> it's pretty easy to not, you know, get your feet all fucked up if you regularly swap out your boots. But. The sandalweed is uh, something that can come in handy if you ever find yourself in that position. There's also, um, in the post boxes and stuff, not that I'm telling you to go back or anything, but they do have, like, uh, share lockers. Mm hmm Which, um... Alright, fucking strong wing, we read it. Good lord, go away. Yeah, I wish you could turn that off. I yeah. wish you could turn it off, like, but you, there's no, like, prompt to do so. Um, and the there's share lockers anyway where you can donate stuff to people and you can also claim cargo that other people have donated mm -hmm. so sometimes it's a good idea to check it out just to it might be something that you could use I like this area up here but there's never a reason to ever really come here ever again and I wish that there was more areas like this where it's like a wooded forest but there's really not any areas like this. There's like one other area in the entire game that has trees like this. <clears throat> so I need to go down then. Mm -hmm. And of course they tempt you with a bunch of materials down there. So many jagged rocks. I'm gonna break my head open on one of these. Yeah. Orange juice. You want orange juice? We gotta go to Kroger then. I hope I don't work super late. Me too. They're having me deliver packages on New Year's Eve. Well, tomorrow and New Year's Eve. Or Christmas Eve, sorry. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping they have they're having me go in at nine o'clock, but I'm hoping that I'm not going to be there all day. But we'll see. You want the Marysville If you want. Oh, you bitches. Hey, you get out pretty early there, huh? Right. Yeah, I know. I'll get out at 3 tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. Fuck yeah! I do. Fuck I do too. I wish I didn't, but I do. Too bad, Rip. I gotta probably talk to Fabio too, because I was gonna ask him if I... <clears throat> I don't think he's gonna schedule me this week, because I... Um, <laughs> I have to work pretty much every day at the post office, so... Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday.
I'm hoping, I'm hoping that after, even after like Christmas Day, it's just like everything just slows down immediately. <laughs> I would hope so, but we'll see. I like at least there's significantly less mail to deliver. <laughs> You know, and that's, I think that's partially the reason why I liked this game so much, is like, that's all I fucking do in life is deliver shit. <laughs> so, like, I come home from work and then I, I just fucking deliver more shit. <laughs> I, I I had a loop here where I was I was pretty into this game. I was, I was definitely addicted for a little bit. But it is kind of a game that I, I don't know if I will readily go right back to it and play through it again. I started I did start the game over again and started playing it a little bit. Um I'm watching you play it does kind of make me want to revisit it a little. But we'll see. I wonder if they'll do a DLC for it. Probably not, but I I wouldn't be against it. You see they announced the uh Resident Evil 3 remake? I did. I don't even know if they announced it, but they think there's <clears throat> leaks of it anyway. That should be cool. Or maybe they did announce it. I they think had, they did yeah, officially. I think they did officially too, yeah, because they had all the images of Nemesis or whatever. Yeah, see, this area is cool, but there's like... It's so far out of the way that you never really come back here. And it's annoying too because there's these uh, fucking BTs in here. It's kind of an annoying place to have to navigate. <clears throat> oh, look, there's a baby BT. Look at that. A little one there. See that? Yeah. It's kind of creepy. So you imagine, like I was saying earlier, like if there was a day-night cycle or like more of a play on light and darkness, like for visibility and all that. Like imagine like having to like go through a cave system and then there's BTs in there. Like that would that would be kind of creepy. Yeah. And like I don't know, I'm just making shit up, but like maybe like you know <clears throat> your scanner doesn't work or something like that because like the proximity of everything. So maybe like you only have to go off of like their handprints on the wall or something. Like, and how they're moving around or something like that. Yeah, that would be a lot cooler. Like, it, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Like, what they have going on in this game is good. Like, I do enjoy it. Like, some of these scenes are pretty tense when you're doing them. <clears throat> it's just that, like, you can you kind of see what I'm talking about, where it's like there's definitely room for, like, making it more interesting. Or, like, adding different elements to it, you know? And there is later on in the game. I, I I'm not trying to set up the expectation that this is all there is to the game. That you're just running from point A to point B, you know, crouching and hiding the whole time. Like there, the game does open up more once you get more equipment and stuff, and you're getting to some of the different areas. Um, <clears throat> that's why, like I said, there's been some people who have said it. Uh, it took them like 30 hours before they were like. <laughs> Actually into it, it. Actually into the game. Like, I get the core concept. I'm decently <clears throat> into that. Yeah. And the It's world... just very... I wish I could just go. Yeah. <gasps> Rather than... Yep. Fucking talking to these guys. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, certain parts of it kind of become a little, like, routine after a point. But, you know... Yeah, once you get to, like, episode three or four... The game definitely opens up a little bit more. Yeah. Like, the elements kind of change a little bit. Because <clears throat> I want to say episode 3 or 4 is where, like, there's, like, one of the earlier boss battles, I think. Um, and the boss battles are not hard, but they're visually very, very cool. So, like, right here, for example, I think they gave you the blueprint to build generators, I think. So now if you go back to that um, to that distribution center where the motorcycle was, if you build a generator there, you can um, charge up the motorcycle to use it. 
Yeah, bodily fluids are good against BTs. That's all you gotta know. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Fuck you. I hate you. Take your mask off and touch my pee. <laughs> oh, and they added <clears throat> they added standard orders now, which are basically just like side quests. So if you want to do extra, take extra shit, you can take extra shit. Which. If you're if you're going for the platinum like I was, the standard orders are like super important. <laughs> for right now, I wouldn't worry about them now. Because it, it's basically just a matter of like you can you can um, you don't need to make anything right now. <coughs> basically, you're going right back to where you came from. <laughs> Carry it on the back. Yeah, you should be good with everything you got. <clears throat> but yeah, sometime later in the game, like, um, once you kind of get, like, a feel for everything, um, you can kind of, like, bundle stuff together with where you're going. So you're like, oh, I don't have any main orders to do right now, but I might as well take a standard order just to get more likes and more XP and more connection level for people, you know? Yako, Yako, Yako. So now you gotta go back <laughs> the same way you came. Or I can save the game and let you do your thing. We still got a little bit of time in this episode if you want to, though. Okay. Well, so I'll just wrap this one up and then we can do our <clears> thing. <throat> or should we have my should we have my uh, skateboarding escapades in the in the episode? I think so. You wanna do that? Let's do that then. Go ahead and save it, and then we'll, I'll try loading up my game. So just hit, yeah, just do what you were doing. Go to system. And save. Let me see. I wonder, I wonder, let me see the controller. Let me, I wonder if I can load my, yeah, my stuff. It should still be here. Oh, shit, that's good. Oh, wow, there's so many. Yeah, okay, here we go. I need to stand up. My ass hurts. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, that's better. All right. Yeah, just needed a good stretch. <laughs> hey. <coughs> this baby's outside of the thing now. That means it's my baby. I will breastfeed it. It's not breastfeeding. So, right now I'm in a... Um, End game state, so I hope I don't spoil anything for you. But my eyes! <laughs> spoilers! This is one of those games where actually, like, if you um, get the spoilers, like, you might not even really get it. Because it's like, what? <laughs> like, shit's so confusing that you're like, uh, uh, what? Okay. Drinking Coke? Hmm? You're drinking Coke? Drinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see here. And we're at 100%. Why are we still loading? Come on, game! Alright, I'm gonna see. Oh, you got a hat! Spoilers! <laughs> and I got a different colored suit! Spoilers, and your boots are warm halfway. Spoiler. What do I even have on my... What do I even have right now? You drop cargo and we'll deliver by mama. So you drop cargo and other people picked it up? Yeah, I guess so. Um, so we got a whole system of... Uh, I hope none of these degraded here, but we got a whole system of zip lines that I built. Me and other players built, I should say. I am going to go drop some shit off first because I want to get my floating carrier... Hello. Hi. So I'm in the I'm in the second area of the game right now. So let's see, what do I have? Speed skeleton. No, I want a floating carrier. Yeah, dude. Oh fuck yeah. Alright. So what happens if you get to your two hundred and seventy kilograms? Do you just not move? No, I think like your um your uh, 
stamina really starts <coughs> to take a nosedive, I think, or something. You got a lot of likes. 358,000. Yeah, that's because if you build the roads, the people fucking like the shit out of it. <laughs> what do I have on it? Oh, I got my sticky gun, too. I don't need the sticky gun, but the sticky gun cause is actually kind of an underrated item, I think, in the game. It is pretty cool. I wish I had known about its uses before. <laughs> So we're gonna. It's nice because I'm actually like right by the area that I want to go to. So these these zip lines are like actually like almost too good. <laughs> They're like too good for the game, actually. Because as you can see, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? As you can see, if you build you a network of these, you are good to go, pretty much like throughout the whole game this way um, but you don't get the zip lines till pretty far later in the game and they can only go uh, 300 meters unless you upgrade them to level 2 where, where they can go 350 as you can kind of see here are some of the roads that I built why you keep going are you going through like BT territory yeah I'm going there's BTs down in there okay but we're going up there towards the mountain. So I built that one. It is pretty fun actually, like traversing the environment and then finding like optimal places to put zip lines. Like that's kind of a neat thing to do. And then yeah, you can jump off of them as you're going up. So this is the weather station. Um, to control the weather? No, but this is where you get that ability to get the forecast. But the, it's a fucking worthless thing, I'm telling you. It's like there's no real incentive to use that feature of the game at all. <clears throat> so what we're going to do... Oh, there's a truck. I'll use this truck. Why not? But that's someone else's truck. Yeah, they, people leave trucks all over the place, so... <clears throat> I'm going to use this just to get up to the higher part of the mountain. This isn't even like the steepest part, I think, but I think it'll be fun to do it here because it's relatively simple. How do I get out of here? All right, maybe I gotta go around the other way. Oh, uh. Being very dunky about this. Oh. <laughs> very dunky. <laughs> it's a very dunky way to do it. So while you're in there, it doesn't use the battery power, but now that I'm not in there... Yeah, it's slowly draining. See, one thing, too, like, you can't tip these over. Like, you'll be up on two wheels a lot of the time, like, when you're taking sharp turns, and I think it would have been so cool if you could actually, like, overturn these fucking things. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, like I said, I want, I want this game to be a lot harder than it is, because I think it would be a lot more interesting to, like, see how, you know, fucked you can get. <laughs> Oh no, you're a zip line. Yeah, a lot of my shit started to deteriorate. But it's not that big of a deal. I remember, like, when I first got to this area, I'm like, oh, this is cool. Like, I wonder if this is, like, the edge of the map. But then I started going up the... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I started going up into the snow, and I'm like, oh, it's not stopping. Whoa. Nice. I was, like, kind of shocked by that. Yeah, because normally once you get into, like, different biome areas is when they put a big old... Yeah. Big old wall. Oh, there's another zip line. I could have used that to get to the top. Whoa. Uh, well, I wonder if that's a clear. I wonder if that's clear. It's got to be clear to get up there. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it must be pretty... It must be clear to get there. I think I, 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 think I remember building these... These zip lines. So yeah, we're going all the way up here, and I'm gonna fucking snowboard down this motherfucker. <laughs> For having bald ass tires, I'm surprised that this truck is still going up. Yeah, it would not. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, I built that. I built that one. So yeah. Yeah, it's just starts slipping Goodbye. down.
No. Oh, well, there's another one there. I see it. Okay. No. See, there's a whole bunch of zip lines all over this fucking place. Because I built them. Because that makes that's what like, <clears throat> as I was saying before, like it's kind of like the um, the. Uh, it keeps on introducing new ways for you to have to traverse the environment. So once you get to these areas of the game, like the mountains, like the zip lines are pretty much the most efficient way to get around. Yeah. Oh, that's the roboticist right there. That's why. Okay, yeah, I've been here. It's a roboticist, but it's still going down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save it right here because that way, if we want to retry it, we can probably reload this save. All right, let's give this a go. Let's -a go. No, 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 I need that. <laughs> well, it didn't go exactly the way I would have hoped. Oh, you named the baby Louie? No, he he names it Lou later. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I need to attach it. And then I have to ride it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Do a sweet kickflip off the off the mountain. Oh. oh, I don't remember the controls for this. Shut up! Shut up! Fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I want so, it to be more extreme than this. So have you died yet? <gasps> oh my fucking <laughs> knee! Yeah, I died a couple of times maybe. I was hoping this would be more extreme. Oh well. It'd be more extreme if you like off into the air. Yeah, but I can't. No. It's still pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this thing doesn't carry speed that well. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'd like to be in the I like I like skateboard. I like Tony Hawk. That's what fucking Lou's saying. Cause Lou's an uncultured swine. <laughs> Dude, you'd be going so fast. <laughs> you went to the water. What the fuck is that? That's from uh Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I was like, um, why the hell is there a Horizon Zero Dawn draft thingy? No, oh, my hells are gone now. I already reached the end. Because <laughs> you do the push and it doesn't really, no, it it doesn't really get you going that much. <clears throat> This baby right into the water. Try on. You can. It actually hovers on water. Nice. But it does not. You can't go anywhere once you're on it. Yeah, because what are you gonna push off on water? Yeah, right. Well, I was hoping for something a little bit more extreme than that, but whatever. Let's see. We can go. We can go. Um, there's a big waterfall over here. We can go to. Can you look up like a turkey and drown in it? Uh, I think so. I don't know if you can drown, but you can look up at it. <laughs> oh, my fucking... <coughs> so right now I've got an all-terrain skeleton on, which helps me, uh... Not... not die? <coughs> yeah, it helps you, like, actually, <coughs> like, um, grip to the ground and stuff. So it's really useful, especially in the snow areas. Because, uh, otherwise you go really slowly. There's also the power skeleton, which helps you carry more uh, stuff. Like, it <clears throat> pretty much doubles the amount of cargo you can carry. Mm. More or less. So it's just a big old fight. That's a big old waterfall. Yeah, that's what a big What are we one. in Niagara Falls? Is this Canada? Uh. Is this Canada? No, it's not. Somebody built a bridge here. Why? <laughs> to, to come and see the... Uh, the bitchin' ass waterfall. Oh, 
that's actually not bad. There's a rope there to get down to the beach. A rocky beach over There's here. There's also a zip line down there. <coughs> I don't think I have a fucking ladder. I don't have anything but the sticky gun on me, I think. Just sticky gun down. No, I can't. <laughs> you shoot it on the ground before you hit the ground, and then bam. <laughs> Bam would be right. I'd be hitting the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the skeleton's for, right? Yeah, it's like fucking Portal 2. And usually there's a lot of... Uh, usually there's a lot of ladders and stuff out here on the, on the waters. Yeah, because there's like this like makeshift little thing of... Um, rocks to get you across. Which is kind of cool. Like, it's a cool visual moment. Like, there's, I think there's only, like, a couple of quests that actually make you do this. But they're all, like, side ones. Oh, shit. I guess I should have scanned first, huh? I don't think you can make it across most of this. Yeah, I need a... I need a ladder. There's some there. Oh, I made it. Hell yeah, Shut dude. <laughs> it's it. Can I make it to that one? Oh, that's a ladder. Okay. Yeah, if I go this way. <laughs> one step into the wrong place. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 <Where'd that be? laughs> but it's like that's kind of cool that like they have like these you know ladders sitting here. Like it's a cool, it's a cool visual thing. Yeah. Like Looks at, like someone down the way built the bridge, so all this is useless, but. Oh, it's your ladder. Yeah, that one's mine. Look how nice you are. And I only got one like on that. Oh, it's probably because only one person's used it. Because everyone else is using that goddamn uh, bridgeway over there. Or the zip line. Well, that zip line, is, <coughs> it's got the red thing underneath it, so it's broken. You can't no. use it. You have to repair it first. But I don't really want to repair it. Where can you zip line to from here, over there? Yeah. This bridge is not going over anything, though. See, I don't understand this shit. Like, 2,482 likes for a bridge that goes nowhere. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's the aesthetic. Everybody I, likes... I guess so. I, you know, guess. I feel like you're just hating on people. Because they, they build good bridges. <clears throat> I wonder how meticulously they designed this, too. Like, all these rocks look different. Yeah. I'm sure there is some repeat. Oh, yeah, probably. All right, time to jump. No, I would die. I mean, yeah, but I haven't seen death. You do the same thing that you do, uh... Like, you go... Like, you have to find your body floating around in the seam or whatever. It's oh, that. okay. That's that. Okay, that's that's the death. Okay. But if you, if you get taken by the BTs or whatever, then you'd cause a void out, yeah. What happens when the void out happens? I mean... It leaves a crater. And it's like, I think it's permanent in the world, but it's not nice. like wherever you were, it'll... It's it, one of the, probably <coughs> procedurally... Yeah, it's like a it's like a predetermined <coughs> area, I think, or something like that, where the the craters will be. Okay. I, I haven't had... It has not happened in my game, but... Yeah, because you're a pro and you don't get BT'd. Nope. I wonder if you could build a bridge there. That would be a big-ass bridge. I don't think it'd be big enough. I think that's too too far. I think that's too far. Attempt. I don't have any. I don't have any PCCs though. No. Nope. Penis crotch crotch. Looks like someone tried to build one right there. Yeah, right there, but nobody's finished it. <laughs> yeah. Because it's again, it's a worthless bridge. Like why? At least at this point, because I built the road. <clears throat> yeah. I wrote. I built that. All right. Well, we tried out the the carrier. It didn't really go the as extreme as I thought it would have been, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, yeah. somebody got a rope down here. Uh oh, don't fall down. <laughs> oh, that's a ladder. That's probably way too short. That probably does not. Oh, here we go. Here's a rope. See, somebody left me a rope. How oh, nice, rookie hunter. <coughs> I 
That that ladder is probably not long enough to reach the ground. <laughs> no, not even close. <laughs> why would why would you put that there? Well, oh well. There's another rope over there I can use to get down. I think this is where Conan O'Brien is. I think over here. He gives you. Uh, if you do his quest, you do. You get. Um, there's the Santa hat. You do. You get the otter hood, which turns your your hood into an otter face. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Oof! Fuck. Is he down here? Yeah, he's down here. That's him. I think his title is cosplayer. I think. down here. Oh, there's a bike. Weird place for a bike. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be a very good place for it. <clears throat> Alright, this is the other side of the waterfall. And you can climb up this area here if there's some stuff around. Yeah, there's a rope and some ladders. Another motorcycle. A couple motorcycles. Well, there's that. Next time on Chinstrap Champs, Billy will uh, continue to skip dialogue and stuff because he's impatient. <laughs> I just want to play the game. <laughs>